What's up guys, it's your boy Ty Skits here, and today we're playing Car Extra Racing Online. In today's Car Extra Racing Online video, I'll be showing you guys the best ultimate drift setup for the Speedline GT. So what you guys want to go ahead and do is drop a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. Now, I got to answer this question. I know a lot of you guys have been asking, where's the wheel? Where's the wheel? Now, bro, the wheel was supposed to be here on Wednesday, but I guess that package is arriving late. So if it doesn't arrive by February 9th, I'm going to have to either get a refund or just have it replaced. So we're still waiting on that. But other than that, man... I'm being patient. I really don't want to go live until I get that wheel, but I might go live tomorrow. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, let's go ahead and get into this build. So like I said, man, we got the Speedline GT. This is a class five car. So what you want to go ahead and do if you have this, if you have the class five cars unlocked, come down here to class five, get the Speedline GT, go ahead and throw the ultimate drift setup on the car. If you guys want to know what body kit I'm running, I have this body kit right here. Uh, I'll go ahead and go through it real quick so if you guys want to see like what I have because I know a lot of people were asking like last time if I can go through like what I have on the car so I got like the second headlights right there as you guys can see stock front bumper stock hood uh, I'm running the fourth uh, side view mirrors for carbon fiber fourth roll cage or whatever for the trunk I've got the third one you know what I'm saying Ooh, I kind of like that it's kind of cool I might leave that on actually that's cool i like that all right so boom for the rear bumper third right there as you guys can see for the spoiler i'm running this spoiler it's the very last one and then for the tail lights i just got the stock tail lights could run those ones though for the exhaust i have the last exhaust also for the seats i'm running the second seat there second seat there steering wheel i have is the second steering wheel second uh uh e-brake and the second shift knob for the rims i don't even know bro i don't even know what rims i got on here I really don't. Oh my god, I just switched into something else. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I don't know what rims I got, but as y'all saw right there, I just switched them to something. I don't even know. I don't, okay, whatever. Whatever. Let's head over to the dyno stand, man. Let's get right into it. Uh, so your front spring length is going to be 8. Your rear spring length is going to be 7. Your front and rear spring stiffness at 110. Your front uh, damper, wait, your front damper fast bump. That doesn't even sound right. Okay, front damper fast bump, rear damper fast bump at 2,000 front damper fast rebound and rear damper fast rebound well no front is going to be at 6,000 rear is going to be at 7,500 uh for front damper bump and rear damper bump you're going to go ahead and put that at 3,300 for the front damper rebound uh 12,500 rear damper rebound 13,500 front tail 0 0.40 and then rear tail negative 0 0.20 or as close as you can get it i know it's really glitchy and it's hard to do it like you know what i'm saying you got to kind of like mess with it but it is what it is man if you can get it close it'll still work fine front camera negative 4.10 rear camera let's go ahead and put that at like a 2.0 it's like literally right there so negative uh 2.00 or 1.99 whatever i don't know i can't get it on there bro. it's not working uh front and rear answer robot at 45 cast red sin ackerman angle at 22 percent max steering angle at 60 degrees for the wheels your front and rear rim diameter are going to be 20 Front and rear tire width are going to be 285. Front tire pressure at 173. Rear tire pressure at 184. Front and rear, front and rear wheel adhesion at 120. Front wheel track at three. Rear base at one. Front tire profile at 30%. Rear tire profile at 30%. You guys already know, man. <clears throat> Only reason I'm running 30% is because I feel like I don't know. I mean, we could run 25, but I don't know. I just feel like the car. I don't know. I just feel like it's right, so I just I just left it like that. Cause I've been low key experimenting. I did 25, 30, then I did 25, 25, and 30, 30 seems to work the best so far. Uh, for the engine, turn everything all the way up to max. You guys already know how we be rocking it, man. We don't be limiting power around here. No cap. For the transmission, your diff lock ratio is gonna be 1.00. Uh, final drive is gonna be 4.10. Your one's gonna be 3.85. Your two is gonna be 1.48. Your three is gonna be 1.18. <clears throat> And then for gear four, it's gonna be 1.10. Gear five is gonna be 1.06, and gear six is gonna be 1.01. 1. 
For the brakes, your brakes work is going to be 3500 firm brake by 70%, ABS no, launch control tandems no. So, if you guys have made it this far into the video, man, like I said at the beginning, make sure to drop a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. Also, if you guys could do me a really big favor and share this tune with your other car racing friends that would like to go ahead and slide the Audi R8. But, that's going to sum up the commentary for this video, man. I hope you guys did enjoy like I said, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some gameplay. So, enjoy. All right, so it looks like we're not getting to an online room, so we're going to have to go to single player and just go to training mode. I'm going to try to hit up East Toge, see if I can get some jumps in there. You know what I'm saying? My favorite map right now is East Toge, if anybody was wondering. This map is amazing, so let's get it, man. Let's go. Thank you. 